Hello everybody, back hey, again. Folks. Crazy Climber 80 here and Coach Eiley here. And we have just uh, picked up some food from a place called... Uh, Country Diner, Country as Diner. generic as it gets. Yeah. Uh, good little spot, I've been there a bunch of times. I like to, I've had breakfast every single time other than when I ordered nachos and they are literally movie theater nachos. Uh, so nacho cheese and chips and a little thing of salsa. Yeah, that so, was not stellar. So you have to know what the right stuff to get. It does make sense that uh, a little bullshit diner doesn't do stellar nachos. I probably should have seen that coming. Oh, wow. But uh, mom had tried the burger, said it was good. Now we're going to give the burgers a shot. And then uh, Goober's going to dig in on some chicken fried steak, which is fucking excellent in my correct opinion. Okay, so one of, one of them was kind of a taco type of burger. Well, Southwest Burger. Is that this? That is that. Oh, that oh, is it. it. Straight up is taco Ooh. meat. Interesting. Yeah. Taco meat and black olives and a tomato. And a bunch of mayo. Yeah. yeah a whole mayo. lot of mayo. So that's this. Let's see if I can get it get it good and proper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just straight up taco meat. Of the Okay. There's that. And then also... We have. Ah, oh yeah, you get it instead on on your fucking uh, breakfasts, whether it's omelets or like Uber's got the uh, chicken fried steak going on. You can choose biscuits, biscuits and gravy, and gravy. Uh, or I think you can even choose French toast uh, instead of uh, hash browns and toast. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, but you can't uh, you can't you, uh, substitute the uh, egg for anything. The egg for anything. Yeah. yeah. Goober don't like eggs, so we just didn't get egg. I mean, I. I I'll eat it on a burger or something, but I'm not going like, to have it separate very often. Oh, this looks fun. It won't kill me, but I, I'm not crazy about it. Ooh. Yeah, this has got... This was the... What Motherfuck they burger. It? Was this the barnyard? Yeah. Was it, barnyard. that what they call yeah, it? Yeah. So. Well, this is your your standard egg, egg and bacon and ham burger. Yeah. See how much of that you can see. Uh, yeah, they're burgers. Lovely. Burgers are probably pretty darn awesome. Yeah, this looks, was, that looks awesome. Oh, this is your, your uh, crinkle cut fries. Standard little non-cottage fries. <laughs> and this... Oh, what was this? Oh, oh but a couple couple well, bags of the fries. So. No, 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 no. That's right. That was the... Uh, Tater tots. Tater tots. So no additional side. I don't know. I didn't even ask if they had onion rings or anything. I, I would guess they do, but who knows? Well, we got a whole we're bunch gonna of have, shit. Yeah, we're and gonna then show the big reveal for the chicken fried steak. This is the chicken fried steak. And Ooh, that's real. nice. Yeah, it's 100% a hundred nice... percent right way. So it's yeah, hand breaded. That's... Yeah, that is hand breaded. You probably ought to start with that, Russ. And you only grab a fucking plate. Oh no, you're, you're fine. It seems it seems weird to to have chicken fried steak but not mashed potatoes with it. It's well, just, it's just chicken a... fried steak breakfast, tell me. Yeah. All right, well, let's start digging in. Uh, I'm going to do a little taco burger action first. All right. Hey, there's a bunch of olives on the little taco burger. Mm hmm. The, uh, the coating is kind of. It's not the type I usually get. It's usually more of a crumbly, crumbly crust. Yeah, it's because this is the real hand breaded shit. Comes out this way. <clears throat> the uh, the so, ones that come frozen mm -hmm. are the ones that have that much different top. It is good. Mm -hmm. That that gravy's yummy. Yeah, that breakfast is on point there. The old taco burger's good. I didn't know what to expect. But it is, it's not a hamburger patty. It is straight up taco meat. The ground beef um, just kind of tossed in there. Almost like a, a, a Mexican sloppy joe. <laughs> and, it's, and it's not the shredded cheese. It's it's just a Ameri slice of American cheese. Mm. No, that's cheddar, dude. Is it okay? It's melted on there, so. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I can get that again. That gravy is really good. It's a good chicken fried steak, man. That's a good one. Uh, their little uh, crinkle cut fries got a little crisp to them, so that's nice. 
you know, they're, they're extra good if you get them. And, and it's not like Estacate is a booming metropolis. If I'd actually paid attention to this town at all, I could probably point out, you know, one of the 19 buildings that's in town that that's what it is. Uh, oh, could, no, we actually couldn't see it because that's the hill. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, they're still nice and crispy after taking them to go and coming home. So, mm -hmm. well, speaking, that's positive. Speaking of hills, there's some pretty pretty sharp inclines Oh yeah, and that are going to be well, absolute murder in the winter. Once this gets shitty out over here, it's, I'm straight up not leaving my house. Uh, you're like, cool, I'm not going to die heading into work. Thanks, but no thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, we should put that aside and get started on this. Oh, well, so the, yeah. So the, for the bite. people. For the people. One more bite. Mm. And then you can go straight into that guy next. I am going to grab the motherfucker burger. That gravy is good. That's good stuff. And once again, with a little better view, bam! Look at all that goodness. All right, let's see what this dude's all about. And again, they only do mayo on their burgers. Yeah. Uh, so there's not uh, no ketchup coming. And no, no mayonnaise or, or uh, no uh, uh, mustard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make oh, sure dude, that this didn't is a good, happen. This is a good motherfucking burger. Mm. Dude, yeah, this this is, yeah, this is the class right here, buddy. That's fucking fantastic. I like it when uh, when you mm. get the fucking ham that's got a little sweetness to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I, look, I'm not usually big on sweet for ham. I like it because I just think it gives you that extra dimension in a burger. That's fucking, that is all there. I agree, though, in like regular ham, not a big fan of just eating a sugar cube. Yeah. Uh, some of the, some of the deli, uh, Deli sliced like in the uh, cheese, cheese and uh, deli aisle, uh, whatever. Service really, uh, well, no, like uh, like at, at my Freddy's where they oh, just, just grab and pre-sliced. Yeah, yeah. Nah. that some of that is crazy good, and it's not, it's not super sweet. It's a little little thicker than you might might imagine. I'm good. I'm good with this. So the the nachos you got didn't have no, dude. The didn't nachos have any of the ground beef. Well, you got to pick either ground beef or, or chicken, and I got chicken because I was kicking it with uh, some non beef eaters so they could try it. I mean, you know, it's it's no different than you would make at home. Is what I'm saying. It's a you know, you go somewhere and sometimes you just get a motherfucker thing of nachos. This is not that. This is straight up at the movie theater nacho. Mm hmm. Oh uh, well, taco, taco time actually had a has a, I think a. Is that place even place. still around? I know. Oh yeah, a bunch of those went out of business because they're fucking trash. Well, their taco burger actually is. And they're decent. expensive. They are. The they little are. taco eater things are kind of good, you know, little roll tacos they call them. Mm -hmm. Those are all right, but. Dude, even Taco Bell got expensive as shit. How, when the fuck did that happen? Yeah, especially because they don't the, the menu is smaller than it used to be, mm -hmm. and their best thing is still the cheese quesadilla, and it's like f over three dollars for a tortilla plus cheese and a little of the jalapeno sauce. I always go with Fuck the uh, five layers; those are those are pretty good. Yeah, there's a bunch of good stuff there, but it's just like yeah. it's going to cost you ten dollars to you to talk about them. Yeah, you for for kicks. You can go on uh, YouTube and look at one of those really old vid videos of a 59, 79, 99 commercial. And I remember go, that shit, oh man. Oh my God, that's forever ago. So I'm going to jump into the uh, the farm. Uh, barnyard. Ba barnyard burger. Yeah, I really like that barnyard burger. Mm -hmm. And oddly enough, the, yeah, right? Oddly enough, the fucking tater tots taste like tater tots. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, out of little little bullshit town of 4,000 people, I didn't anticipate having three good burger spots. This I got to agree with. This is the, this Absolutely. Is the shit right here. 
that that's right up there with uh, Mike's and everybody else for mm -hmm. a motherfucker burger. I still say that the one we had at uh, what's the place that we had the seventy dollar burger yard? Oh, no, oh, oh yard uh, house. The, um, the Rock House. Rock House Grill. I like Rock Houses just a hair better, but uh, that burger's not fucking around. I like yeah. I really like this one, and yeah, the the ham. Right, just a little sweetness. It gives you a little something, something. And the bacon are, are really good on this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That is really good. Yeah, that burger's not plain. So I think that that clearly took first place of everything we ordered here in town. The chicken fried steak is killer, too. I fucking love their chicken fried steak, man. And I like that you can get it with a biscuit and gravy. Oh, you should probably take a bite of the biscuit and gravy. Yeah, we'll, before, we'll do that. Before we uh, peace out. Well, I had that slathered, slathered on the mm -hmm. uh, chicken fried steak. Uh, where was the napkins? Oh, it's one of those oh. bags. They, they must have thought we were disgusting fucking trolls. They gave us 900 napkins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, and it, oddly enough, that same lady... She's there every single time I've been there. Mm hmm And the older lady that was running around, too, that's the owner. Oh, yeah. And she's owned it for like 40 fucking years. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the biscuits and gravy. I'll cut away a little bit and then show you a picture of the inside of it. But it's just your typical kind of smallish biscuit. Mm-hmm. I really like the gravy. Mm hmm So there's there's what it looks like right there. See so yeah, if you having to go through Estacada, it's it really is a kind of kind of podunk, kind of kind of farmish type of country. Mm -hmm. Um Everybody's just got that small, old-timey uh, uh, look to, to all their uh, establishments. Yep, very much so. Um, super fucking, you know, decent folks, though. I mean, you know, it's just, this is not Portland. No, there, there's no <laughs> there's no millennial snowflakes to argue about not stupid at all. things. Not at all. Um, and just a an idea of where this is... Uh, from my fucking deck, the fires last year, 0.8 miles away from here. Mm hmm Because I, I guess that the handful of neighbors that didn't evacuate when they were told to were on this deck just watching the fucking fires. Mm -hmm. I'm too much of a pussy to do that. Like, oh, cool, I'm going to catch on fire. <laughs> yeah, but well, we, we saw tons of uh, smoke remnants weft over the VA. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. But yeah, that's that's uh, if you are going through Estacada and you and you can stand going in places that look that look super old and I don't know possibly not up to code. Yeah, little rundown. Ways, little rundown. Um, definitely stop by. All three of these places were good. I I really like Country Diner. Just Country a little Diner. bullshit spot. Um. I wasn't part really, really partial to any of the pizza places here. The Hitch and Post was better than the other ones. Um, mm -hmm. That's what I was hearing that they're 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 the best of, of what they got here. I haven't done Figaro's yet, but that's more of a, a chain. Yep, yep. I'd seen that somewhere before. Um, but you can't go wrong with the breakfast at this place. The burgers are really good too. But uh, like I would get an omelet and then get the biscuit and gravy. So then after I eat my biscuit and gravy, I can dump the fucking leftover gravy on top of the omelet. Yeah, I thought, I thought briefly about the omelets, and then I was like, no, uh, we're they're gonna... not giant. They're smaller omelets, but they're good. It's fucking good. Well, that's uh, that's our our look at the the places around uh, Estacada, Oregon. Um, some definitely some good eats in this very very small town. A lot of hills. I concur. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, folks. Uh, we'll sign it off for Dick Smack and Dick Smack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, crazy Climber 80 here. Go Chile over there. 
and we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, folks. Bye, folks.